Hey, I'm Trey from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Heavy Rain. Now, in the last episode... And that's all you need to know. So everybody sit back, relax, and enjoy, because here we go. And we're playing as this dude over here. He has a wide body, but a small-ass head. I don't know why. I'm not going to ask any questions. We are just going to knock on this person's door. Knock, knock. It's a delivery. It's the porno. I know you see me in there. All right. You going to be like that? All right, motherfucker. I'll come back. I'll knock even harder next time. Oh, I hear that. Somebody is getting freaky in there. The headboards are getting pounded like there's no tomorrow. What about over here? Yo, can somebody open the damn door, please? My self-esteem is getting so low. Lauren Winter? Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Oh, I got an appointment. Wait. You got a dick appointment? Sup, baby? It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any weird shit. What? Fine by me. Put your money on the table. You got exactly 10 minutes when the alarm rings. It's over, okay? I only need two minutes, okay? A minute 50 to be exact. Here, let's put the money on the table. 50 buckarooskies. Let's uh, turn down the lights, throw on some Marvin Gaye. And let's get Frey K. That's a cute bathroom. Scute. Scute. You should take your clothes off. We ain't got all day. Oh, you Actually, don't want to see I'm what's under customer. these clothes. Ugh, shit, a cop. I should have known. What do you want? A freebie? Is that it? <laughs> My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a, a private freebie? detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. I came here just to ask you some questions about Johnny. I already told the police all I know and I have nothing to add. Leave me alone. Persist, convince, compassionate. Let's be a compassionate. I understand, Lauren. I know what you're going through. I'm here for oh, you, yeah? Lauren. You know what it feels like I'm to your find buddy, your own Lauren. son's body on a wasteland? I'm sorry, I don't believe you have the slightest idea what I'm going through, Mr. Shelby. Okay, a little less attitude, please. I'm here for you. Let's convince. The killer is walking around free as we speak. He'll kill again if he's not arrested. Hey, Johnny's dead, so what difference does it make? Buy or trick? You know what? I think she needs money, so we're gonna buy. I bought ten minutes of your time, didn't I? Yeah, I did. All I ask is that you use that time to answer some questions. You want to pay me to tell you about my son? Is that it? You can buy my body, Mr. Shelby, but my son is not for sale. Get out of here. Ooh, I done fucked up, Get didn't I, guys? Get the fuck out! I fucked up. She is angry. How about I throw another 50 on the table? Oh, wait, what? Yeah. Take out well, that 50. if you remember anything, the smallest detail, give me a call. Should have just took the freebie, huh? Should have just got down to business. <laughs> Whoa! <coughs> Motherfucker, stop touching yourself. There we go. That's the good stuff. Lauren, Lauren, open up, baby. Oh, we got Mr. Clean over here. You shiny, bald-headed fuck. Sorry, doll. But I really wanted to see ya. This guy's super horny. Stop knocking. What do you want, asshole? Just barge in there. Lauren, is everything all right? <laughs> Everything's Jesus not all right. Swell. Now beat it, loser. Oh, I'm about to beat it. I'm about to beat someone. Get in that room. You again? If you're looking for trouble, you found it. I'm gonna beat the shit up. All right, you wanna go, Baldy? Let's go. I'm the quick time event king. Oh shit! Ooh, get wrecked, noob. Man, I am fucking up. Ooh, come on, let's go. Let's go, son. 
Mm. Oh, come on. Oh, shit. No. No. Oh, break it over his bald ass face. Fuck you. Come on, my dad hits harder than you. Oh, fuck. Gosh, Shelby got some dodging skills. This is like some WWE shit. Oh, what are you gonna do with that? Come on. Don't make me laugh, girl. This guy likes choking. He's pulling on my ear. What is this? Some middle school shit? Oh, I hate those ones where it curves. I'm so bad at those. I'm fucking this guy up. I am ending his life fool right now. Oh, not today. I don't think so. Shit. Yo, knock him out. <laughs> Please. Thank you. I'll see you again, asshole. Are you all right? Am I all right? I almost got my Better ass him, beat. I guess. Who is he? An ex-client who thinks he owns me. He was getting violent, and I told him I didn't want to see him anymore. Well, you should be careful. He'll probably be back. Sorry about the mess. Mr. Shelby? Yeah. Thanks. Oh. So, you guys know how in the last episode I was kind of like... I don't really remember too much about this game. Well, things are slowly starting to come back to me. But just for the sake of the people who have never seen this game, I'm not going to say anything, all right? Why are we playing as all these weird people? You can tell this guy thinks he's hot shit. He's just like, yeah, I came out this nice ass car. What's up? Zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, you want to see my badge? It is the nicest badge in the history of badges. Peep this. Check it. Ooh, Check. in your face. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. He looks like a super douche. Like it's nighttime, he puts on his sunglasses. I'm Thanks. looking for Detective Carter Blake. Has anybody seen Detective Carter Blake? Hey, I'm Mr. Cool Guy. Have you seen Detective Carter Blake? I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. <laughs> hey, I'm looking for Detective Carter Blake. What the fuck is Thanks. going on? He didn't even say one word. This shit is tripping balls, man. Look at this. I'm gonna ask for Blake, and then nobody's gonna say anything, and he's gonna be like, thanks. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. I'm looking for Detective Carter Blake, man. Have you seen him? And that thanks. is Detective Carter Blake for the third time. All right, thank you, sir, even though you did not say one word. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? You don't know how to speak English? Does anybody know how to speak English in here? What the fuck is going on? I'm sorry, guys. The camera is on drugs. Detective Carter Blake. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman J. What the fuck the is this? I went by your office <laughs> this morning. They told me to beat you. Loading sunglasses. You're rain, dead you're killing me here. Highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself think here. Right away, Lieutenant. You know when people have that type of mustache well, style? Are you coming, Jay? They're a douche. So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about six o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Why do I feel so triggered the way he's saying origami? He's saying origami. Any triggered. witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody. This guy's saw not even anything. looking at me while he's talking to me. Any news on the coroner? I feel so disrespected. He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. 
Um, identity. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. Hmm, what's the cause? Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned. Like the others. <laughs> Why am I walking like that? <laughs> Tony, I don't want to see a single shit stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Time. Has the time of death been established? Based on the rigor mortis, must be less than six hours ago. We should know more once the coroner has had a look. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest. Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now. We're on the same team now. Oh, this guy is so cringe. We're on the same team, bro. Oh, God. But I know that when you press the sonar, it's going to reveal some type of avidance on the ground. What kind of avidance, you ask? I don't know, but we're about to find out. I just gotta look around. I gotta do my little detective work because I'm Agent Norman Jaden, a.k.a. Hot Shit. And I gotta find out what happened over here. There we go. Our first piece of evidence. Aww. Dead cat. The FBI doesn't keep files on dead cats. Oh, that is Not so yet. sad. Poor kitty. We gotta hold a funeral service for this cat. All right, here lies... Itty bitty kitty committee. He's on the tracks. He was a great cat. Um, he would always go for empty tuna cans. And he would always purr like the best of them. Rest in peace. That really threw me off, guys. I totally forgot that there was a dead cat on the train tracks. That makes me sad. I hate seeing that. What's this? Barry Jizz. Common. Traces of blood on the railroad track. Somebody the jizzed on the tracks. indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Those glasses are too cool. Footprints. Found ya. Very common. Traces of footprints leading toward the body. They don't look like those of the police. No correlation with the body for the moment. Wait, I see more evidence over here. What is this? Some orchid pollen. The concentration of pollen in the air is quickly decreasing because of the rain, but it gets higher in the direction of the body. Oh. Okay, so if we follow the pollen, then we can find out where the body is. Wait. Duh, the body's in here. <laughs> Harry Common, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. Can we see the body? Okay, let's check this one first. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. Let's go for the one over here next. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. Small wound on the right thigh. Why can't every police officer the have these sunglasses? Because the if they did, all these crimes would be solved. There would be no unsolved mysteries. Oh, it's a origami. Small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Okay, let's check that face. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. Hmm. Is that it? Yep, looking him up and down, sizing him up. <laughs> you know what? I think my job here is done. So let me take these off. You can just tell by his eyes. He's a crack addict. He loves the cocaine. All right, let's get the fuck out of here, guys. I think we have all the evidence that we need. It was the origami killer because there was something in his hand when the guy died. And... That's about it. I'm getting the fuck out of here. It's raining too damn hard.
I wonder what happens if I don't put on my seatbelt. Because I didn't put it on. I had the option to, but I didn't. I know this game has like 17 different endings, something crazy like that. I only got one ending when I played it, so I'm curious to see if I'm going to get something else or if I'm going to get the same ending that I got the first time. But I don't even remember the original ending that I got when I played this the first time. But holy fuck Ruskies, guys. 17 endings? You got me fucked up. It's hard enough playing a game with like two endings. This one is a uh, wolf. A wolf's head. Crab. Definitely crab. A crab. Death? Kind of looks like the Grim Reaper with his scythes. Oh shadow. shit, why did I pick shadow? A uh, threatening shadow. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. Good. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. Oh yeah, Doc, I'm fucked up. I know it's not easy. My but psyche you've is got to all messed up. Over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. No, that is not your fault. It Jason was, was being a little baby bag bitch. Accidents happen every day. You bought him a balloon and he ran you off. You can't blame yourself forever why. for your son's death. He was death. an asshole. Jason was How a little is Sean? punk. Sean? He's kind of distant. He's a very solitary kid, you know. Very he doesn't even call me Pappy anymore. Himself. He's really close to his mother. With me, he's more distant. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I like how I'm just leaning on this guy's... <laughs> what the fuck? Um, I feel dead inside, dog. I stopped living at the same time Jason did. You know, actually, I'm gonna sit back on here. It was kind of comfortable. Car ran into us. My ass cheeks appreciated it. All right, let's get up. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? Yeah, I just want to say that you got a big old forehead. I've been, uh, I've been blacking out. I sometimes have these blackouts. <laughs> times when I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I recover consciousness sometime later, but I'm someplace else, and I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the I'm accident? Too much you fun suffered just a massive Ethan's concussion head. and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. Yeah, and something I don't exactly that happened with the accident... Freaking Jason was in front of the dad who got hit by the car, and Jason ended up dying. So, that's kind of weird. That's really weird, actually, because if you remember... He jumped in front of Jason, and then Ethan was the one who got hit by the car. But Ethan's cool, and Jason is six feet under, so I don't get that. Let's ask Sean how was school. How did things go at school today? I was punished because I didn't do my homework. Well, that's life for you, kid. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, you don't do your really homework, then you together, get punished. Okay? What, does this kid think that he doesn't have to do anything? Are you hungry? Do you want to eat something? You want me to watch you while you eat pizza again? How about you go play? Aren't you going to go play with the other kids? I don't feel like it. You know, Ethan, this father-son thing is a two-way street. I can't be the only one driving here. Is something the matter, Sean? Yeah, you, Dad. No, I hate your guts. I'm all right. He's giving me that death stare. That school shooter stare. I'm getting away from this kid. Sean is creeping me out. He was giving me that, like, omen stare. 
Let's swing by ourselves. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. <laughs> okay, he likes that. He's like, all right. Cool, Dad. Get over here, Sean. I ain't got all day. Okay, let me push you. Let me push my boy, Sean. Okay, hang on. Here we go. Whee! And... Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm not pushing Dad. I failed you as a father. This time, I'm gonna be successful. I'm gonna be a successful swing pusher. You ready, son? Because I know I'm ready. Here you go. And... Uh, bang. Come on, Dad. Higher. All right, I got you. I got you. You want higher? <laughs> you want higher? I got you. You want higher than that? I got you. Oh, you want even higher, Sean? I got you. You want even higher than higher? Sean got you. Oh, that's it. We're bonding. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, it was cool. I know I'm the best dad. Look at that smile. Ain't that the creepiest thing you ever seen? All right, let's see where else we can go. Hey, can I push your kid? Did you see me push my kid? I'm the swing pusher master. You ain't doing shit, look. He ain't even going high. Your kid's sad as fuck. How about we go on the seesaw? I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's go. Okay, you get that side, I'll get this side. Ready? Come on, Dad, make me fly. Make you fly? You want to fly? I got you. Wow, this looks so weird. <laughs> He's just staring at Sean. He's like expressionless. It's so fucking weird. <laughs> and he's just pumping that seesaw. Maybe I just have a dirty mind. This looks so wrong. <laughs> well, at least Sean's having fun. And fuck it, I'm giggling. I'm having fun. If Sean's having fun, we're having fun, guys. We gotta be the world's best dad. How about we kick these kids off and we go on the slide? How about that? You wanna do that, Sean? Or the monkey bars? Come on. Let's get silly on the monkey bars. Or how about these girls, Sean? Come on, go floor with them. They look your age. Go mac on them. Go get the honeys. To be honest, though, this is really cool. Just seeing all the people around this park. They're just in their own world. Like, this is a video game. All of these characters were made specifically for this scene. But it looks like they're actual people just living their own lives. That's what I love about this game. People are just doing their own things. Like, look at that family right there. They're just playing basketball, or like they're playing monkey in the middle or some shit. When I was a kid, this merry-go-round stuff made me want to throw up. I hated these things. But Sean looks like he's gonna love it. So on, we are Dad. gonna push it. As you can. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> faster. Faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Come on. You're breaking my ball, Sean. I'm going as fast as I can, man. Look at his face! What the fuck's wrong with his face? Yeah! <laughs> World's best dad. Right here. Right here. Look no further, ladies and gentlemen. Right here. Whoa. I think my head is spinning. <laughs> You're training for astronauts, though. <laughs> Aww. Boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can Me I give it a try? I honestly don't know how to use a boomerang. Like that? Okay. Please come back or I'll look bad. Oh shit! Yes! Cool. Alright, let's do this again. And... 
Got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Bam! Whoa, you did it, Dad. Do you want to give it a try? That was cool. I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. You gotta believe in now, yourself, the Sean. The main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now you gotta throw it straight and a little to the right. Now throw it. Come on, come back. You got this, Sean. Nice. I did it. I did it, Dad. Good Hell yeah, job, you did Sean. it. See, that wasn't so hard. Now I want a boomerang. It's probably gonna hit me in the face, though, knowing my luck. Okay, you weren't that good. Stop gloating. All right, let's get out of here. Looks like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. You okay. know, sometimes I remember before, I mean, when Jason was still here, sometimes I wish everything could just the camera's be the all way weird. it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. I guess I gotta stay close to Sean, because the camera's acting all weird. Hey, Dad, can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Okay. That's why the camera wouldn't move. Because old Shawnee boy wants to ride the carousel. One, please. That's a dollar. Keep the change. Didn't even make any noise. Got that silent truck. That Metal Gear Solid truck. Didn't even know it was coming. Stop! Oh, here we go. Sean. First it goes Jason. Now it's just Sean. This guy loves calling out his kids' names. This is backpack. Sean! Gotta go this way. Sean ran all the way home without you. Let's check upstairs. As we scream out Sean's name. Your wife is going to be pissed. First Jason, now Sean. What the fuck, Ethan? You're 0 for 2 right now. 0 for 2 from the field.
Well, Ethan done fucked up and he lost Sean. If you guys want to see the next episode of Heavy Rain as soon as possible, make sure you give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is the dude!